Hands on Machine Learning with Scikit-Learn and TensorFlow. This book is very famous on internet and often you'll find people suggesting you to go and read this book. I bought this book and in this video I'm going to give you a true review whether you should buy this book or not or if you should who should be buying it and what you will get to learn from this book coming up. Alright, so I have this book now and uh, let us first look at the table of content. Okay, so basically this book is divided into two parts. The first one is fundamentals of machine learning and the second one is your neural networks and deep learning. Okay, so the first part actually covers the machine learning landscape and an end-to-end -end project. I'm a lot more interested to know about what they have covered it. But before I move into this, I want to go to the pages that actually talk about the prerequisites of this book. So I'll go maybe this one. Yes, I'm a lot more interested about this topic. It says the book assumes that you have some Python programming ex experience and that your family with Python being scientific libraries like NumPy, Pandas and Matplot. Okay, so this book actually assumes that you have a good knowledge of Python. Also, you have worked on the, some of the machine learning mathematics libraries. Which means that this book is not for the guys who want to get started with machine learning straight away. But th this book is for those guys who have a bit knowledge and the understanding of Python and the libraries. And have a now good to go knowledge with the scikit-learn and TensorFlow. Also, it says... It's good that you should have a reasonable understanding of college level math, that is calculus, linear algebra, probabilities and statistics. Mm -hmm, quite interesting. Let us look at the roadmap. It says it's going to talk about what is machine learning, how to fit the model, optimizing cost functions, selecting future engineering, reducing the dimension infinity. As of, as of now, it's all good and fine. Now, let us go back to the part one once again and have a look at the end-to-end -end machine learning project that is on page number 33. I travel to page number 33 and 47. Let's go to page number 33 where it is. Alright, so right now I'm at end-to-end -end machine learning project. Let us say what we are going to do in this project. It says look at the big picture, we'll get the data. We'll visualize it, we'll prepare the machine learning algorithm from the data, we'll select the model, train it, fine-tune your model, present your solution, launch, monitor and maintain your system. So almost each and everything it is going to cover in this project. Let us go and uh, have a look on what it has to talk about. It is talking about some performance measure, it is using some notations, some isolated one. Whether it's getting started with the project. Okay. Now. Okay. Now this is quite interesting. It is saying to create your test set. Now if you look at this code. It is telling you how you can create your custom uh, function for splitting your data sets. This is really nice. Many guys you would be using this function that is test train split function. Now this is a function that they have made. Also what you could do is you could use an scikit-learn function that is test train split and just call it function use it but what they have done is they have also taught you how you can create your own custom function that is interesting also they've explained the each and every bit of it so this look books looks quite interesting to get started if you have a basic knowledge of machine learning now let us go back to the table of content once again and see what else they have covered they have classification and the best part about this book is they have again used a pro project based approach that is this time to teach you classification they're using MNIST data sets that is really really nice also in the training model section you would see they have covered linear regression gradient descent polynomial linear curves regularizing models so of this regression and a lot many more stuff so in any other books you will just find about this uh, regressions but see they've also covered like mini batch stoic stay computational lasso elastic so it's quite a in-depth book now they also have support vector machines 
decision tree ensemble model dimension reduction looks good as of now but i think the neural networks and deep learning part is a lot more interesting than the other one as they have good up and running with tensorflow quite good and famous introduction to artificial neural networks mm, training deep with neural nets now this is good distributing tensorflow across devices this is kind of good one also the convolution neural network so all in all it's a complete book and the auto encoders also they have reinforcement learning the best thing that i also like about the book is if we we'll go back to any of the exercises let me go to any of the chapter end maybe is there any chapter end that i have let me find the chapter beginning okay now after every chapter you'll find the exercises that is going to give you some problem statements that you need to solve it also at the end of the book they have given you some uh, i believe they have given you the solutions these are the solutions that you can also go and find it out so what i would say that this is a good book okay you can should go and buy it but only when you have a basic knowledge of it this book has a project based approach so you should go and buy it but only when you have a basic knowledge of python and the libraries that's all in this video thank you so much for watching i knew it got really clumsy with the book because i'm holding a camera from this um, on my one hand and trying to change the book thank you so much for watching i put videos on every monday wednesday and friday my name is stephen simon see you in the next video